How have we dealt with the betrayals in our lives? A blessed Wednesday to all. This is our reflection for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. In the spring of the year 2000, Wes Yoder, CEO of a small agency that handles speaking engagements and literary rights for Christian entertainers, authors, and leaders, received a call from his business advisor who told him how deeply his company was in debt. He was shown documents with his purported signature that authorized loans for substantial amounts of money. Yet, West couldn't recall authorizing such loans. A while back, West transferred much of the day-to-day -day running of the company to two people he trusted, his chief operating officer and the other was his vice president. They had been a team and close friends for a long time. However, his business advisor revealed that the COO had been asking improper questions about the company's accounts and Wes was finally told that the people he trusted were taking advantage of him and that he will have to let them go. Wes was stunned. He was told to lie low until enough documentation had been gathered to make a clear case for dismissal. They will also need to figure out how to get the company's finances back in order since the irregularities had put the company in a pretty deep hole. He told his wife Linda everything. Her face turned ashen and said, Wes, I can't believe it. Those guys are our friends. They betrayed you. Why? Wes hadn't thought of it as betrayal until Linda had used that word. The days that followed were awful as his advisors compiled paperwork against these men and Wes fired both of them. But it was already too late. The betrayal not only severely hurt his company, but also made Wes bitterly angry. He asked God, what had I done to deserve this? The betrayal made him feel weighed down and alone. Even his relationship with his wife became strained. It would take Wes three years, a Christian men's retreat, and a final face-to-face -face meeting with his betrayers to reach that place of forgiveness. In the previous episode, Judas chastised Mary for anointing Jesus with perfume on the grounds that it was a waste of money. In today's Gospel reading, Judas makes clear his motives in betraying Jesus when he asked the chief priest, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? No small part of the sins of the world can be traced to avarice, and many a time since the days of Judas has the Lord Jesus been betrayed even among his professed friends by the same base propensity. All of us have experienced betrayal at various times in our lives and in differing degrees. Some betrayals are small and thus may be a bit easier to forgive. Other betrayals are life-changing, and our lives may even have taken a completely different path after the betrayal. This experience may make it very difficult for us to trust any other person with our personal lives. Jesus understands betrayal. He was handed over by one of his closest friends and followers. Yes, Jesus is God, but he was also human. He experienced the breath of emotions that you and I experience. Judas was a man he had chosen, a man he had trusted. Yet it was Judas who betrayed him. Thus the betrayal must have hurt him deeply. Have there been times in our lives when we also have betrayed Jesus? I would assume so. But Jesus will forgive us. 
Jesus will never stop loving us, no matter what we do. Perhaps the more important question is, can we forgive ourselves? Jesus continues to invite us to come to Him. Today, let us accept His invitation. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father in heaven, I have sinned against you and others. Through my sins, I have betrayed you countless times, and I wish I could take it all back. I desperately need your forgiveness. May your mercy wash me of all my sins and cleanse my heart of evil desires. Keep me safe from future temptations and strengthen my resolve to choose what is right. This I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families. God bless couples for Christ and our Catholic faith.